Welcome back to the channel, it's Mark Lears, your Vlogster How you all doing? Hope you are all well I've already put my gloves on so you don't need to watch the path So where else would I start this video? To introduce a new bike to the channel As you know, I've done the wild bad weekend there I've done a couple of back roads and lanes with Lockwood and his Africa Twin and the FZ1 well, as you know, when they quite cut it, the thousand miles I done at the Wild Bad weekend hurt massively. What else can you do? We're going to get on our bike. Let me introduce you to the Triumph Tiger 800. So just be a wee quick video, just to introduce it. I'll do a first impressions review as I head back along the coast. Familiar road and safest for me to be first time on the bike. I've just rode here. I've done about 10 miles on her. It comes with all the luggage, which obviously is not on it at the moment. But she's a beauty. Straight away, as soon as I sat on her, it's comfort levels through the roof. Uh, definitely, <laughs> it's so comfortable. It's triumph luggage with it, so it just everything's there just to basically put them on and the lock and everything else that goes with it. But aye, she's in really good nick. She's a 2013, 9,000 miles on her. I think I grabbed myself a bargain. So I'm just going to jump on her head back along the shore and I'll talk you through some of the first impressions but I'm very very pleased with her she's a cracker so let's go so as you can see the weather's turned so I'll give you a quick run down. The most worrying aspect is obviously the black tooth screen, how this is, video's gonna look. The camera's gonna catch anything above it. I think it will, I'm not sure. The other thing I'm finding at the moment, after all this is a first impressions, is that in my helmet it sounds really noisy. Again, I'll check the footage when I come back. It is windy. But quick run along the shore. I'll talk you through it. Not good. But anywho, comfort-wise it's absolutely superb. You could definitely munch the miles in this. Even though it's an 800 triple, it's still very punchy. Plenty of power there if needed. I need to get turned around, uh, turn it around. Aye, uh, overtaking's a breeze. So, handguards, heated grips, all the stuff you'd expect in this type of bike. The mirrors are superb. I'm sitting uh, quite high up, so I'm hoping this footage is okay over this screen. What's next here? This is a horrible morning for this, traffic wise. May as well check the stickers while I'm here.
moving that about is nice and easy exactly what I've been waiting for <laughs> this is so I'm very near flat footed on it let's go and check if the stickers are alright while we're here stand, putting the stand down is a breeze So you can see yourself, there's a well, there's a bit to change. We've got thunderstorms coming. Let's go and check. There we go. Got one or two missing. I think that's the same as last time I checked it. But they're still there. Put about 100 miles on it so far, but totally loving it. This will just change everything about the upcoming sky trip. One thing I have noticed is the turning circle is quite tight, so I don't know if that will cause me an issue. Might, might not. Uh, I love getting it kind of relatively early, you just kind of beat it. So as I said, it feels really noisy in the helmet, but I don't know if that will be the case with the footage. And it is very windy today, so that's me at 60, so... We'll see how bad it really is. We've got a side wind, which isn't helping. Gorgeous views this morning. You can see that kind of stormy weather coming. So far so good. I'm loving it. The main difference for me is being able to flat foot. That is just night and day, man. From this camera angle, this is this is where it's this is where the problem's going to be if I go to sky. Because I'm not going to get another screen for it, but I just kind of get it in time. So this screen's in its lowest position, which isn't the best protection, and it might cause real issues with wind noise. So. Clinging it into roundabouts and corners and all that is just an absolute breeze with us. And it's so comfortable. So 9,000 miles on it, 2013. One owner. It's been well looked after. Full service history. Get absolutely nothing to complain about so far anyway. You're sitting so high up, you've got such a clear view of everything. Very flickable as well. Front brake is good. It's not immense, but it's good. Back brakes, what you'd expect it to be. This is all about comfort, riding position, wee bit of off road. That will certainly be doing when we get to Sky or on the way up. That's a definite. It's punchy enough 
for the 800 triple it's got a nice sound to it obviously the can will get changed it's going to make a huge difference for everybody that regularly watches the channel the wild bad weekend trip did take it out me by the time I get back up after the weekend it was it was getting to that point this will change everything so I'll take a wee run along the shore for me it's it's all about comfort the flat foot and all the rest it's an absolute bonus it's no full fat flat foot fat foot <laughs> Uh, but it's as close so aye this screen does worry me in terms of video what you'll see I'm hoping that this is going to be ok because I definitely want to film Sky as for putting, fitting the other cameras oh, I'll have a look at that I don't know what way that's going to go as usual I'll bring you the best footage I can with the best audio I can get but back to the bike I think I got myself a wee bargain to be fair along the Drossen shore you've seen it many a time But today's ride was just a first impressions Started out of the Vlogsters car park Blistering sun Rode home And I've come back out today just to Give you some other bits and bobs Now the way it works with my channel is I'm a, I've still got about 5 or 6 videos still to get Before we even get to this one So you could be watching this 2 months after I've actually bought it oh, probably the worst kept secret so it will be so I'm just going to spin around and go back head back to the house check this footage But I'm absolutely 100% happy with it so good start glad I've done it pleased me with two bikes but they said one I can put up for sale that bike's pretty much bulletproof had so much fun with it but times change I want to get more into touring and also this is a bike to dip my toe into some uh, off-road so I'll head back check this footage standing up in it by the way I feel the bars are too low but could be doing me being a wee bit higher but it's fine to do it So that's me, I'll head home. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you'll get to enjoy the new addition. Take me on some longer adventures. Bring you more stunning footage to Scotland. 
you'll definitely get that with a trip to Sky. We're going to do Apple Cross while we're there. So, a lot of good things coming to the channel. And I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy them. Hopefully, you will. But that's me, I'm going to sign off. So, take it easy, ride safe. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers! Yeah.